Uh, it's fresh now, but it won't be fresh later. Once I'm up, Alrighty, welcome me. back. I'm your man, Bad Chad and Clean Jolene's on the camera. We got Nate in the house, we got Doug in the house, and we are on air. We're back at the 38. There's a few things that got done that wasn't on camera that we had to do. Uh, we got a piece right here in the back. Um, when we tried the back on, we realized that we had to have this on here before we got started. I sort of knew that anyways, but I really just wanted to get the roof cut in half and see if it actually did fit or not. Um, it sort of does and sort of doesn't. We're going to have to manipulate it, manipulate it quite hard. I just threw some black paint in there real quick in the back. Um, it was so dry in there where the back seat was, I just wanted to, it, it was just crying for paint, so I put some paint on it last night. I fixed the little hole where the gas tank um, got jammed up. Nate got the, the gas tank off, so I could do that. There was quite a bit of work alone just trying to get the gas tank out between the frame rails. It was tight. It was tight. And Nate did that. I did not do that. He got that all off by himself. Um, and I fixed the hole and, and did that sort of stuff. Uh, we also, or I, we, we also um, got the roof or the window cut down. Nate did that. My first time doing a... Nate cut the window down and did an excellent job on it. Got it put back together. Um, you can see how... I, should, I maybe shouldn't move that, but we've got it back together. And this thing goes back together with screws, and it had a little uh, tab in there. He's got the tab in there welded in there, and he got screwed on one side. So there's one, two, three screws, and the window comes back apart. And I'm thinking that this is the chop that we're going to have. <clears throat> so there's three of us here today. We're going to go back at it. Um, my plan is to get Nate to chop the window, chop the window post and Doug to chop the window post, and then you guys can put it back together. Uh, we got it pretty well figured out. Uh, we're chopping this car with uh, tape. We're not using no tape measure. Um, Nate knew how to chop, or how much to chop of the window because we're chopping it. If you want to come over here, sweet hat. Uh, we have, we have <clears throat> some tape on here. So we just went with two, uh, two things of two inch tape that's where we're chopping it. Also, before we chopped the window, me and Nate put the window in and we made a mark with the marker exactly where um, this fit together, the window fit together. And this window, had, there's a couple little clips that go over top of them. Yep. I think Nate's got them until the window's completed. Yeah, but, once you uh, put the glass in, we can put the strip back in. So we, knew ex we know exactly where that was, where the, this went. So now what we do, like we did on the other side, we've got one two inch piece of tape on this side, one two inch piece of tape on this side, and then we cut it off and then we're gonna put it back together. I'm gonna leave that to Nate and Doug. Uh, Nate's first time chopping anything was this windshield post, or the windshield thing, and Doug said the only time he's ever chopped a car is in, in uh, anger. In anger, that's <laughs> the only time he's ever- either. It didn't look nowhere near this. <laughs> that's, this is the only- that Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So um, they're going to get the window chopped down. I'm not sure. I think we'll deal with it. Af we'll deal with this piece up here maybe after we get the window done, or we could chop, get it chopped off. Why you got done? I was what wondering do you think? Why, why it was off. If we did um, the top of these like we talked about and just run a line on this, then we're going to have that flat spot on top of that and cut that structure. Good. Off. Go for it. Because you want that flat for that top. I, I, I do. <laughs> Um, I, I'd, I'd like to have it, what can I say? <coughs> I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking that we should have it yeah. scribed with the window opening right down to so see, like right there. Right, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, so right with the window sort of. I don't think that should be up here and have that square there. No. I think Just that should come right along with the window. We can scribe yeah. it somehow. We can get that cut off. We can cut the skin first and then we'll cut the back and match it. Okay, it doesn't, like, this is one thing I've been thinking, like, windshield wipers, I always, I generally just take it, delete the windshield wipers, but on this car being a roaster, do you think, really think I need the, like, if it, well, if, if it, it works if, out, we'll if it works out, we'll use them. If it doesn't work out, I'm not going to be upset. Yeah. Yep. So, because we, we have um, the windshield wiper motors that went up in there, they are there, and everything's all still there to hook them up. Too. Yeah, so we did not destroy anything when we tore the car apart. That was the main goal, we want to leave it as it is. It's funny, he said he'll never finish it anyways. Well, when we're done welding up, we're gonna be finished because it runs, it drives. Um, we're not, 
you know, we're not going too far with this one, I guess. Well, we've gone quite a ways, but... Yeah, louder toast, right? Louder toast. So, to be, to be honest with you, like, you, can, you can take that down some, and then we... Yeah, we'll do what you got marked there. We'll just do that, and we'll keep... We'll, I, I like we'll the look follow, of that, We'll that right follow there. that line all the way. I've got a protractor that we Ooh, can maybe... Ooh, arts and crafts again today. We can let run it along that line yep. and, and go around there and scratch yep, that paint. Yeah, scratch it right in, yep. Okay. Yeah. We can do that. Um, we know, you know exactly what's going on with the green tape. You have to, it should go yep. all the way around, yep. and we got to cut yeah, on this that. This was just a test. Cut the it the, the best you... Looks pretty good though. I mean, I don't think you have to take it off or anything, but we got to try to cut it the best we can and get it put back on. Now, when the that best goes down in, that won't have a chance. Like, we got no doors to. So, I won't use an axe this time. Excuse no, me. No, no. It'd probably bend it if you did. So, you know, you. Yep. Doug, you, if you can cut one, you want to cut one side, don't matter to me. Like, it's whatever. Yeah, we'll mark her out. We'll mark her out, get her cut off. You'll have to have one, someone holding it while you're cutting it to, for it to fall off. What I suggest is, is cut the top mark first, yep. and then you can peel this away, and then you can cut that one on while it's connected to the car. Because yeah. if you can cut the one on the bottom, then you've got to try to hold the roof and try to cut the whatever. Sounds good. If you know what I'm saying. Um, got, so, this. so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Piece piece. I mean, control it, get that cut, and, 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 you know, go as far as you can go today, and, and, you know, if the window can hook back up and swing back in it, you can do all that. Like, I know that's quite a bit, but... If it happens, it happens. Do you, um, that rubber, do you want to finish taking that rubber off or just shorten it up to where it wants? I can tape it on and leave it on there because I didn't do that yesterday. I just left all the rubber there for now. Do whatever you... I, I can pull it back in here and cut it and just leave a little bit and tape it to there so we don't have all that extra laying around. It wouldn't be bad if you cut it to length. Yeah. Cut it to length, that'd be fine. Yeah. Uh, on the back, um, we're not going to... I, You know, when, when we cut the roof, roof in half... <coughs> try to put the roof on the back of the car yeah, it's kind of it's kind of premature and the reason it's premature is because I can't I can't weld the back on and cover this over and um, have all this this, this junk this here, right here <coughs> we've got a patch here push that down. we've got a patch there, there. Um, we've got rust it's there it's, it's, it's this is all bent up we're not using that I did get the gas tank hole remember it went in and, and oh, put a hole there we're only cutting this Pull, pull the this gas back tank around was. the top. Yeah. There and there. So I'm, I'm going to let them guys like I just did right here. Uh, pull it to the middle and then we'll the cut front it the middle. windshield. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a great project for us fellers. That, them fellers. And I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the ass end off and, and do some and rust then, repair while they side. chop. Do you want to do front. that? And the reason I feel just like pull your corner right around letting there. Nate and, and Doug chop the front is because yeah, make sure that why not? Just see that groove system. Why not? Um, I could get them to do the rust work, here, but right? uh, I feel Over like here. Nate's it's first time was chopping the windshield right there, post. Like why not continue on? Did a good job Ooh, of that. Yeah. Continue on with chopping the, the front window. And uh, Doug can help him, no here. doubt in my mind. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that just goes to show you that, you know, if you really want to do it, you can, right? Basically, um, you just have to just go for it, I guess. Think about it a little bit. And I, I really feel if you keep the tape measure out of the chop, you're, you're going to be happier with doing tape. With the front, there's, there's no confusion. They have tape, and that's it. So... They're going to go for what they're going to go for. Um, they're going to go and cut that off and do their deal. <clears throat> oh, one, one suggestion on that. Just leave a little extra. One thing I want that, I want the drip rail molding taken off. Okay. I don't, we don't want that. So yep. a zip cut right inside that. I cut that one off that roof. So yep. I don't know if you want to do it when you get it off or whenever you want to do it. And another thing, leave as much paint on as possible. Yeah. If you know what I'm saying. So. Like try if you when you make your cuts, like cut it with the grinder. Don't go bloop, bloop, and then cut it. No. Okay. Good. No. So, no don't nick the paint. Well, All you right. can, but <laughs> just leave as much paint as you can. We'll do the zippy zip it. The yeah. zip cut will be first for you, and then the reciprocator saw is one going to be cutting it off. We'll go zip zip. Then we'll go. Bloop. To be honest with you, like that's how I feel. Um, yeah. Uh, and we want and we want the drip rail molding off. All right, go. Yeah, because I use the zip blade cut in this one, so we'll yeah. keep it the same thickness. Well, I'm just saying the zip cut, but once you get so far as the zip cut, yeah. you, you're probably going to want the reciprocator to get yeah. right straight through. It's up okay. to you. It's up to you. Yeah. But you, you obviously know that we want a zip cut blade on either side of the tape what, yeah, so we thickness. can match that window. Yeah. And it's kind of like my face and my ass. They don't look alike, but they belong together. <laughs> <laughs> Right? It's true. That's the one. It's just as noisy, though. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> sometimes they have hear the same, that. Sometimes they have the same verse. Watch yourself, Doug. Okay. You're not going towards yourself, are you? <laughs> no. Yeah, okay. Jeez, I was going to cut his lips off. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. All right. Okay. You, you guys go for that. I'm going to do the, the back, and we'll meet in the middle. All right. You didn't so, play basketball, did you? I did. I did. I did. Uh, I really liked basketball when I was younger in school, actually. That was, uh, I was in here said you played hockey, too. Yeah, I did. I, I was a sports player. I liked playing sports. Yeah. Jolene was a basketball player, soccer player. You, you play basketball, Doug? I played with girls. <laughs> I played some soccer and some baseball. Okay, you? Doug played with girls. All right, I need a zip cut. I'm going to cut this back off. As we get older, girls... I have... There's yeah. quite a bit of... Yeah. It's, just, it's just really confusing what's going on here in the back. I've got a brace here, I've got a brace here, I've got a bronze oh, patch there, I've got a bronze patch stupid. there. Uh, it's rusted there. Oh, by chance, Mark. i got a weld mark right there. Oh, by chance, Mark. So let's just, let's chance, just cut Mark. some out. The window, the window frame looks good. That's how big our window... Turn around, Doug. Show us the window. That's, no, the other way. That's going to show us exactly what we're going for a chop. Um, that looks good. Really good. Awesome. Looking good. Looking good. All right, excuse me, sweetheart. I can get the cord out. And if you need the zip cut or anything like that, there's another. There's a Milwaukee here. If you like the. the I know honor. how much you like the Milwaukee. Oh. <laughs> I seen you the other day. I was waiting. <sighs> Your arm was back. You know, I, I don't mind the <laughs> grinder, to be honest with you, but I don't, I don't like the, the button. It's the button. It's where the button's at. Like, you can get them ones with a paddle button on it. You pull. Uh, well, yeah, they're, both, they're about the best, to be honest with you. But yeah. the button, I like ones with a button with, with when I'm grinding something. You know what I mean? I can just hold the grinder and let it do its thing. Do its yeah. thing. But the paddle one's nice when you're, you know, doing something that you're trying to do special. All right. <laughs> Hey Chad. Yes. We're all a little special. <laughs> we are a little special. In our own way. In our own way. We got it. Yeah, we're all a little special, he says. In their own way, most certainly are. <laughs> Good enough, Gerald. Good enough, Gerald. I have in the back piece here, this is all Good this enough, is all Gerald. just trunk piece, piece, I guess. This is what Good it's enough. made like. Uh, maybe you can find it where that protractor This thing right here, got, this piece here sits on top of the frame rail yeah. and then comes out and comes down and, and connects onto this piece. I don't we know are making our own bum for this the bad boy. Yeah. Uh, this is sitting on the frame. I don't like this piece here yeah. and I don't like this piece here so that means I'm going to cut it above <laughs> that and that. I don't want that there. <laughs> I don't want that there. Yeah. Oh, the sharpie's got me. We'll take a little bit out at a time. <laughs> Nope, because I'm not sure. Not a little bit of time, we're going to take it all out at a time. Chad, yes. Where's your compass protractor? Compass protractor. See, it's right up against, right up, first little tiny see, thing there, see. yeah. No worries. Did you ever use one in school? Yes. <laughs> I keep. I keep talking about school, but that's probably the least place I ever hung out in school. Dougie, we got, you know. We're getting the front window cut today. That's awesome. That's awesome. So wherever, like, oh, I'm going to stay out of it. I'm going to let them go for it. I'm going to stay, stay out of it. I'm, I, got, I got things I got to do myself, obviously. So I'm going to stay out of it. 
<laughs> yeah, you do you, boo boo. That's what I'm gonna do, Nate. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do me. I got, I got something I gotta do. <clears throat> Come back and see if you're doing a good job every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's doing it right. Doing job. That's right, Doug. That's right, buddy. That is right. <clears throat> Hmm. We'll cut this end off. Follow that down around, that looks good. I've done more arts and crafts here than I ever did in school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For a we, bit. we see our we see our what's our what's our home ec teacter at the basketball games? Um Miss Spindler? Remember Miss Spindler? Yeah, yeah, Ms. Spindler, yeah. we see her at the basketball games. Ah. And she hasn't That's changed a bit. She looks exactly the same. Yeah, I seen Mr. Fisher a couple weeks ago. He looked exactly the same with Mrs. Fisher too. Oh, well, was he still with Mrs. He's Fisher? Still exactly the same. Yeah, but they looked old when we were kids. They looked old when we were kids. They look better than we do now. That doesn't surprise me. I remember when Mr. Fisher jumped right up on the desk. <laughs> he was he was quite a cat. Wasn't he? he was quite a cat. He jumped, he jumped right into the classroom window one day, right out in the grass, and wondering if we were still doing work. I guess. <laughs> There's no turning back, Doug. No turning back. <laughs> what are you taking off here? Well, we got to try to dissect this thing slowly. You want to do the top line here, and uh, and then I'll we'll see. Do it right So we got the thickness of the blade added with the chop. All right. So what's going to happen so is the fenders are fine. We're going to try to use the wheel that wells are going to close off. Uh, like but when I bring the tail down, I got to close the trunk off or close right. that off. Yeah, I know. You, so the same you get it got a piece in here that's got closed off. Right, and that goes the back. And the wheel wells are here. So I just have to remind myself I have to close it off. The glasses do the rest of the research. Yeah, yeah. Where? So I'll hold on. Let's go, and we'll cut the same on the other side. And you might might even want to go all the way around with the zip cut. I don't know. It's up to you. But you're really, you're probably going to have to get in there with the reciprocator saw to get it off. You know what I mean? I don't think we got long enough blades to. And you want to pay attention to the tape as you cut it all the way around because I have just stuck my blade and think I'm going straight. When you get on the back side, your tape your tape's here and your your saw blades up here, right? So. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna do the mark across the front, then we'll do the rest. Cut it with yeah. It. Might yeah. be able to do this one here with it too. With the grinder. But Doug can get that one.
I guess I guess when we started the started this car and we drew it on the board, I guess what I was thinking is the trunk part was messed up, the back was smashed in, so we need to get an, another trunk. We need to tear this all off and fix all this in the back, and then repair it. And and I think in order to get a trunk that it would cost me a bunch of money, you know, or to search, I wouldn't be able to find it. Uh, the repair on this piece, I didn't have this piece yet. So why not cut it all out and, and go which way we're going? That's, that's what I was thinking. If anybody at home is wondering, well, why didn't you just chop it? Well, I thought of that. It's just I have all this to repair. Uh, we may as well do something with it. And, uh, and I do not have anything that has a carson top on it. So that's basically where I'm going. That's, that's, that's my... Um, it's my party. I'm crying if I want to. That's your story. And that's my story. Sticking and I'm sticking to it. to it. That's the one, Nathan. <laughs> Yeah. Looks like he's going to cut your arm off, too. It's all right, I'll grow another one. He's Astron. <laughs> Astron. <laughs> so I, I can't watch. Inside, Doug, once we get going, I can't piece. watch. Can you? <laughs> Where's the center? Yeah, oh, I just wanted to see that centerpiece right there. Just going. Best, you'll get your favorite angle here. You'll be like, I'm going to get more. Well, we are in there in a second. <laughs> Ready? I don't think Fina likes all the noise sometimes, but she does a good job at it. She doesn't like the reset, but she doesn't mind the grinder, does she? Poor place to be if you don't like noise, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Poor place to be if you don't like noise. All right, Douglas, you just, yeah, I'll just, we can get that inside there in a minute. Right there. Why so serious, he says. Why so serious? Sometimes. Sometimes. Whoops. A little trim the spot there. Chad, I just did a U. Oh, look at that now, would you? Look, what do you do? <laughs> I was, Chad. Huh? <laughs> That's what I just did. I was looking at it. Look at that now, uh, would you? Yeah, so I was, so, yes. Okay, now we're going to cut the next piece off. And then we'll go for the, go, then we'll go for a soda. Might as well go for <laughs> This is this is this piece here sitting on top of the frame rail. It's coming down. Got a bunch of bends in it. Um, there's a patch right there. I want to get rid of that patchwork. I want to get rid of that patchwork and have something brand new. 
Uh, when I was talking to Jolene, looking at it, she said, it does not have to be like that, and you're totally right. I can make it any way I want to because we're making our own bump. Sesame. We're coming back. You want the reciprocator saw? Sharon's you're more, Karen. You're more than welcome to have it. I'm done. I just, I, I just need it for a second. Ooh. Well, I don't know what Looks else to good. do with it. Did you cut it all out? You know what I mean? Like, Look at the fancy new plug on that thing. Yeah, That's right that tight. On. <laughs> it's right tight, Doug. <laughs> right. Take this off. We can get that with a the nibbler. We get it with a nibbler. Yeah. Like that, look at that. You can keep that and put that on a chain, put it around your neck. Aha! <laughs> First chop. It's all when you carry garbage around. Here. Chop with his neck. <laughs> Mr. I might run a marker on that too. Some people save those so they know how many chops they have done. Did you do that? 
Piece there. Oh, I've got a fender marker. that's dented right there. I'm gonna fix that. Anyways, man. I got a marker right here. Oh, I tried. Let me see the tip on. I got my checker, my checker shoes on today. And marker. I got a little dent in this fender here. I'm just gonna try to knock it with a hammer before I get started. I'm not smoking with that. I guess. Boom. <laughs> Does the light still work? Probably not. Arts and crafts with me. I love arts and crafts now more than ever. Arts and crafts. Arts and crafts. The dog Arch bell just went off. The alarm just went off. Yeah, the dog bell. She's a sweetheart alarm. She, I'll tell you, she was like old, old Fina's been a good dog, a good working dog. She works for us every day, lets us know who's coming, who's not. Yeah, she's a good dog. I even had my glasses on this morning, Jolene, but I left them in the truck. Imagine that. You have to be like Chad, just have a pair everywhere. It's like every five. Times. I was working on the Bugatti and I seen a pair in the truck. I've been there for how long? <laughs> That's all right. You got it. It's about there. Kenny's the same way with his glasses. A pair of course. I don't know if I'm going to be able to straighten that or not. Yeah. You got that track? Wow. There would have to be an inner construction right there. Compass. Yes. It's not I think of a compass that tells us north and south and west. <laughs> I got one of the new model truck. I changed the rear end and it used to be a speed sensor in the rear end. And of course, I put it in a speed sensor. I had no thermometer. I got one of them digital GPS. All the things. Yeah. Let's take a little looky poo that, that and see what we got. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, it yeah. even had the green fancy lighting like my dash like to my uh, pillar pod. Oh, wow. Great fancy. green kind of set, you know. The mountain mood. <laughs> what are we going to do down here, Douglas? We got a little rip going on. So, what are we going to do here? Now? I'm going to leave that. A little square. I'll put a mark right here. Maybe we'll just run a square. Across. That, there's a little yellow putting it back. Yeah. I'm going to let Fina in because she's barking. I'm not sure why. I'm going to let her in. I know why I'm going to let her in because she's my dog. Yeah, so we have to leave enough, obviously, you guys know, to get that window to roll up and down to leave them that hinge part. Yeah, we're going to go Basically. right there. We're going to go right to there, Douglas. I think. We're going to give it a try. <laughs> Put a mark on it and... <clears throat> Just peel this off. And then that's on the slope there. We'll have to see where that goes. Might just cut the skin off there. Man, them little prickly nails that they used back then. Sure, sure. I wonder how they put them nails in that steel back then. With, with quite a quite a powerful little machine, I would say, you know, to stick a nail on a piece of metal like Right? Yeah. yeah. She's got some bags. I've got a, a 90 right there. I've got a 90 right there. Um, it, it gives it gives this little piece strength. I'm going to cut this piece here back to that 90, so I got a nice straight thing going on. So if I make a 90 there, no I can hit finished. it the same same playing field. So I got this 90. I'm just going to run that straight back. I got the 90 here. I'm going to run that straight back. We've got this cut off well straight with a piece of tape to the eye. Did you and have we'll one make one piece and put it in there? Like it <laughs> does not have to have a bunch of different pieces. And I have to thank Jolene for that. My nephew Jolene said, just make it out of any piece. It doesn't matter what it looks like. She's milk totally right. Every time we went somewhere. Also, in the front inside, if you have not noticed, here in Alberta. we have, that's another Jolene idea. Cut this off. We cut the inside of the door. You can remember this piece here come all the way up. It allowed the back window to come out. It was quite a time to get them out. I'm glad that it was Nate and Doug doing it, not me. But we put, took and put a piece of square stock where we cut this off. We just took a piece of square stock and stuck it in there and welded it all the way along to the post so we still have something strong. I'll hold it for you. Basically. Um, right? And it did. All right, buddy. I'll grab it here.
Dr. Doug. If, if this cut in, take the skin off first, straight in this way. Let's not cut that down. Just not a reminder, way. less pain is possible. Yeah. Just a reminder. <laughs> I do have a question though, Chad. I just got thinking about it here. Sure. Where we run that protractor around the edge, right? Yeah. This drops in the middle, so that dropped. Is the top of your piece going to come in and drop too, or are we going to come back to this edge, make a different protractor mark, come straight across? There's something there we, I was kind of wondering. We, we've got a cut now. Yeah, I know. So we'll just continue on. Yeah. We'll have to make our, our top fit that. Yeah, okay. I mean, uh, it might have been that much. Yeah. I'm just kind of wondering that now. Never thought of that. But we'll, we'll, we'll peel the skin off and cut the back back and then see what it looks like. If we have to, we can go lower this and then come straight across and it'll still catch the top of that, right? Just as long as we have them hinge things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to make sure, yeah. Oh, so you can make it even thinner is what you're saying, to make it go straight here like that. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. That's what we're going to find out here in a bit. We'll get it cut off and we'll find it. Yeah. We'll get it off and yeah. we'll find it. We're making, we're making the top. That looks so like on the hinge sometimes. if the top, like we're making the top, so if it's like that, we're going to have to make the top come to it. I just yeah. thought, I just, in my brain, I, I would like to see it all the same. Yeah distance on the top but it might not be almost i'm not sure if it goes straight across and has a wider in the front you know what i mean it might have yeah. just like you said it might come to a widow's peak in the front you know what i mean but yeah it would be straighter it would probably be easier if it was straight but when do we do easy <laughs> easy breezy is not always lemon squeezy. but yes I, I understand what i understand what you're saying yeah okay. we'll get that cut off and then we'll figure it out we'll go from there all right so i got this cut out here pretty good i mean i don't know it seems like a a, a simple matter now. If, if. So if I, you know, if you think something that's really difficult, once you get it all out of the way, then it seems to be a lot easier. hinges right there. There's the top of the hinges there, Dougie. That's what we're we we saying. This is I, I have to take a look because I'm, I'm interested. There's the top. There's so this is still that's where mm. I'd like to see the top set there. So that should have been straight across right there. With this drop down that we should have kept that up here. <laughs> Is that what you're thinking? That's what I'm thinking. But you know, them hinges, I could change them hinges up. Well, to be honest with you, if, if you took and now took that now, now we got it trimmed cut off, there. you can weld them hinges back here where, where they're supposed to be and cut the rest off. Right, we could cut that much off, which would drop it down closer We're, to that. Okay, well, we need that much. Let me see that again. Like, see, this is, a, this is a, like I said, this is my first Carson top, and um, I don't know, but... Yeah, right there is good for this part, but... We're a little lower here now. Where we, what's, what's that for? That's your rear view mirror. We, here, stick that in the glass now. Or mount it on the good ones that goes on the dash if you had to. You, there's always a way, is there not? Yep. But yeah, like maybe, maybe it should have went. The center probably should have went straight across from here. Where's that? We got that piece? Oh, yeah, we still got that piece. Okay. We can, so if it needs to be. If it needs to be, we, we could put that inch back in there if we had to. From across. Yeah. 
I think what I'll what I'll do is I'll I'm all, I'm all right with that being like that. I think I'll mark this just as long thing. as you get these welded in place and get so it can be capped yeah, off. Exactly, that's no problem there. And where where we are making the roof, we'll make it fit that. Yeah, you know, it's just coming out for. There's not like it's. Um, it's just down. down a little bit because over it does drop down a little bit because this curves down with when this front windshield come down in the middle. Yeah, that I'm okay. Down. I'm okay. I, I just keep cruising. I guess there's a piece. You know, if you want to go straight across. To, we did not do that. We followed the window line, which that's what we, that's what I agreed on. Um, we have, you can see that, that this piece here is above the cut mark. So that means in order to get that window to flop out again, that piece is going to get cut off because in the front it's cut off. So he's going to have to weld those up or weld those on before you cut them off. Yeah, right here, that, that, that there's below the roof line right here. Right. So if we take cut well then right nip on. It there and just weld the corners yeah. here. We'll have to weld them on before you cut oh, that yeah, off. Oh yeah, before you cut it off. Yeah. Is it welded down here? Is it? It's bolted down here. It's, right there. There's two bolts in it. The bolts uh, there the, was. No, they go in the windshield piece. Right. Okay. There's in there. Yeah. All right. So, I'm gonna leave you with it. You know what to do. I mean, I'll, I'll we'll stick get it. the two screws back in there. I'm okay with that on there. that distance. We're gonna. I'm gonna have to be. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make be. it work. Yep. Yeah, make it work. It'll work. Because it's my first curse. It's my first Carson top. I've never yeah, ever cut that off to be like I'm that. Gonna... Um, hey, I got something outdoors. Oh, tell me, I never even thought. <clears throat> got a convertible Dodge out front. Convertible Dodge. Not my car. Your car's out front, Doug. I, I think we're going the right way. I don't even know, like, if come take a look at this. I don't even, I, I think the flip out window is too nice to throw, to oh, get we can't, rid of. We gotta can't get rid of that. Well, see this one? Oh, yeah. That's, that's got a shape to it, right? That's got a yep. shape to the window. So we're doing the right thing. It's just that we got it close. Yeah. Yeah. If we had to square it up some, we could. Right. And if but yeah. you, can be, you can do that in your top. When the top comes, you can make the top. Right. See how the top, this, this follows rod. the window. The ready rod. You know what I mean? It's not up frame. straight. So if it's up straight, that would be up there. Huh? That's all right. I it's guess. the same shape practice. Same shape. In the windshield. No, it's good, I think. Look at that now, would you? That's, I, a, that's a sight for sore I know eyes. someone who's a ready rod king. A ready rod king. Jolene, Jolene will get the door. Thank you, sweetheart. Whoops. <laughs> no, we're just all taken off. Sorry. A holes we are. A holes we are. A holes. Thinking about ourselves. I'm going to put the screws back in there, Doug. 34. 34. Screws back 34. in there. So then. we want something. <clears throat> um. Let's. Uh, so we'll do, we'll do, uh, it's 34 yet, wide. Do that yet. Let's it's do 34 a, wide. What I'm, I'm thinking is some, where I have this bent down like this, or this bent down there like that. While I grab the screws. I'm going to make this piece go straight across. Screw. I'll put a 90 in this and let it come down and meet onto this and weld onto that. That way there it'll be a little bit stronger when I, once I bend a little half inch 90 on that. That'll strengthen that up. And then we'll bend it up and put it on that. It does not have to do all this. So Jolene taught me that. And I'm going. The poo, the poo is right, on. So I gotta go get a piece. Didn't find out how wide it was. It's 11. I'll find the screws and let's just do that for now. And it's 11. I think there was a comment that came in and said something about the door gap. Could the collision that happened in the back have something to do with the door gap. And it very well could, it depend on how hard it was hit. But in all honesty, you'd, be, you'd have to hit pretty hard to close this gap from the bottom to this post. When the post is connected on the floor in the frame, there's not that much damage back there. So I'm thinking, probably not. Lost my train of thought again, 14. And we did have stuff baggied up with the labels on them, Joe. Yeah, we gotta find the window, front windshield right there. This is for that.
perfect. I think it is. I gotta say how wide that was. Number 34? I gotta go check. That right there is why it's, it, it's good to have a, a good lady around. Jolene remembers most. 34 it is. 34. Uh, 34 we want a half inch bend on one side and half inch bend on the other side. So we're going to go 35. Yeah, follow the top of it. Can't make up your mind, can you, huh? Stuck, yeah, can't make up your mind. That That's all right. Oh, right there. Yep. Can't make yeah. up my mind sometimes. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's just, uh, let's do her. All right, it's okay, I just cut right through the damn thing? Yep. Okay. Yep. Back in up here, and then we're going to weld that. Just mark a half inch on either end. We'll do a little bend. This thing don't like to bend half inch. I'm not sure why I did a half inch. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Sometimes it's a rock head too. <laughs> Just starting at the two because. The one in this tape is. I heard them some pointing where hard you put a little uh, bend over tabs are pointing too, eh? Yeah, yeah. I see a few of them. Is this your first old Ford car, me? What's that? Is this your first old Ford car? First old. Well, you this is the first old one that I've chopped, yeah. Um, when that goes down in there. There, let's snug them there up, Dougies. Snug them right up. Yep. We're going to have to cut the corners off to get a piece flipped up, but that's okay. Snugness. Sort of know what I'm doing, and I sort of don't. I think that's okay. I don't know. to put them screws back in there and tighten them up on that bracket to hold it in place. So it'll be perfectly in place when we tackle the upside of it. Something we didn't do, Doug. We didn't test fit it yet. <laughs> Are these ones here still tight? We'll leave these ones tight here. I weld this down here and there. And then let's grab the window frame and we'll just test fit it, Doug, before we're still fooling with this. We want to check that too. Right, don't fit. Let's just check it. We I haven't. I want to watch this go on. 
at the storm. I want to watch it. Cool. Looks good. Let's grab the window frame and just see how it, it stands. Uh, you'll have to get rid of your... We'll just roll the carpet. Yeah, you do. Uh, yep. you back. Why do the wobbly, wobbly, wobbly blankets, if you, if you lay on them, they get right itchy? Them things are bad, eh? <laughs> Here, I'll open the hood. Or, yeah, I just lift the hood. I'll pull it back. Might as well test it. Here, vice grips. There, that's all we need, Doug. Don't get your fingers in there. Close your eyes, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll be like you'll be should be fine. Did you cut like, that I mean, rubber duck? Did, did the exact same yeah. thing? Yeah. Oh, let's just tape it where you joined it. Here, Bob. We'll, just, tape. we'll just tape it where we joined. Just it. watch the stainless on the inside there, Douglas, if possible. There a little bit. Let's just tape it. Where we'll we keep that as shiny as possible. We want that as shiny as possible. Just so it holds it for now. If you guys need a hand holding things, anything, let me know. I will. Get someone to help you. <laughs> it's one of them. Yep, yeah, nope, decisions. Okay, there you go, Dad. Yep, nope. How's it gonna fit when we get home? Now. And then we'll put the hooks right ah, there. Ah, jeez. Ha uh ha. -huh. Well, Chattels, what do you think, Chattels? Just one second right here. Here, we can lift that, see that frame, Doug? That sets up with the rubber just a little bit. I'd, I'd say we're uh, we're pretty good here, Chattels. Awesome, that makes me happy. I, I had, I'd like I you had to have no, a look, though. It, what do you think, Joe? Keep it on. Joe, you first. You, 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 you know, in all. Yeah, Chad, we don't need you no more. Jolene gave us the answer. We don't need me anymore. Jolene gives you okay, okay, okay. You give us the okie dokie, huh? Awesome. That, that's. You yours got a little bit dug in the rubber there. Just push yours up on the rubber just a little bit. There we go. Basically, yeah. what, I, what I, you know, I guess I want to say is with using the tape instead of a tape measure, how much easier is it? And look where that stainless line is, where we marked per, it. Like per perfect, right? right? Is your crack where, where the crack is, Doug? Your crack where the, <laughs> the crack is. The same cut mark, yeah. But basically... We've we <laughs> seen that <laughs> yesterday. Doug, <laughs> Doug was taking <laughs> saw blades to the hole. Stop. <laughs> oh okay, sorry. But, but um, sorry about the basically, that, that's, you know what I'm saying, tape is much easier than... So I that one thing good, it still stays... It's still, I see a coat hanger trick. Mm. Yeah, it's still laying you straight got there. Right there Somebody <laughs> got choppy there. That's what it? happens. There's a little spot on this one where it's going to be buffed just a touch in the middle there. But that's all right. That looks all right, Douglas. <clears throat> I'll take this. You take that. All right, I think we're on the right page. We're a little bit wavy going across here. I've got that tacked in there. I got 90 on there. I got tacked in there. All right, the 90 we is going to make this a little that. bit stronger. Uh, I'm going to bend this up here and here. Itchy and and uh, we'll just bend it up and plank it on this, see what here, it looks I'll like. I'll grab it. I should actually maybe put a right. step roll in it or something. Maybe. I was looking at them trimmers last night at Walmart. Yeah, they are. Very good. I didn't put all right. You can just so feel a pain this off yourself. to bend that up. There we go. All right. I did not. It's on the back. What did I do not do? I did not. Yeah, if it's on the back, I bent that before I did any step roll on it. So I'll just do this. I'm going to wonder if I can still get that through there or not. Here's Hindi McHinderson. I think I will be able to. I think I want to do a little step roll on it. This is old Hindi McHinderson. Pull this out. 
and they go. Yeah. Set this aside. So, so that gives us how much we could come just back. Just to make it look here. a little bit better. So when and it goes in there. Piece here, a little piece there, because we won't touch the paint, because that's yeah. a back structure, right? You haven't got a hell of a lot to play with once you get that hinge in there to get it down. No. Nope. You don't want to rub them on the top of the. Exactly, right? Yeah. And this is going to come up in like that, yeah. right? Now, can that go right? in? Right? So there? that's as far as we can. Just there's supposed to be adjustments down here too, you think? No. No? No. It's just solid. It doesn't move well. Yeah. There is a little bit, but you know what? It's only here. Yeah. It's yeah. only going to have it Go through there. Go through there. As long as we don't use the crooked eye, they will be all right. Yeah, do whatever they want. Yeah, can do it. That's the one, yeah. Um, Squeeny McSquinnersons. Oh, Squeeny. You want to put some tape on this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, Doug. Why don't why don't we get the old welder fired up and we'll slam them in there? You betcha. We'll get her. We'll get her. Two inch tape. So that's going to work out okay for that situation. You guys have the two inch tape, do you not? Yes, we do, bud. All right. Sharesy, sharesy. Did you rip that? Karen, Sharon. If no one has noticed, Doug has a vintage green goblin shirt on. Um, that was when we gave the little 32 Ford truck away. I sort of wish we still had that truck. He's got it ripped up since he got here, but that's vintage. And you can that's see the truck hundred. over here. And you can tell the eighth annual. I really like the style of that truck. Yeah. Yeah. That's it there. And, and Doug has the shirt to prove it. Pretty I've cool. got a 48 Merc Cad. <laughs> i got a 48 Merc Cad. Yeah. I don't have to waste that tape. Don't be wasting it. Wasting tape. I got that two inch. I got a square piece going there. Got we probably of, could, Doug. Got thinking of Jimbo this morning. Why, yeah. why waste the tape when cool I got it? More gooder. It's just square. If it was round, I would get something else. But. <laughs> more gooder that way, Douglas. <laughs> Sometimes it's more gooder. <laughs> Yesterday I told Chad, have a Kit Kat, have a break. Yesterday was a rough day on me. Yeah, have a Kit Kat, have a break. Have a break time. Talking about yesterday, yesterday I was kind of wondering if I did the right thing by cutting the car apart. This car here is probably the best car I've ever chalked. And the reason being is the floor is good in it, the frame's good in it. The Drives glass good. Is good in it. It, it's it was drivable. It did have some repair needed in the back, obviously, but it is probably the best car I've ever chopped. And yesterday, it kind of yeah, did. hit yeah, home yeah. that yeah. I had chopped the roof off the car, right there. and I was like, "Why did I do that?" Like you know. But oh, it's so dirty. In, in the end, it, that's what I do. <laughs> in the end. <laughs> Doubles, I work well in it. I think. Did you have that in that poo in the back of that car the other day? Yeah, I can throw this on the drill for you. No, nope. look, we're clean now. I'm hoping that that will work. That's clean. Joe, <laughs> Joe Dirt, we got the poo on it. Good for a second. Excuse me, sweetheart. Uh, next, we'll be chopping the roof off this truck. Yes, yeah, we could, yep. We'll chop the Bronco. Let's chop the Bronco. Oh, it looks so yeah. stupid, though, Jack. That with top truck on it. My 77 should have a chop on it. Yeah. I won't get that. I guess that's yours. Is that from the way? Do you remember the yellow Ranger used to be in Chester? Walk in there, the two marks. Top like he's building so for this one. Yeah, that. Be like an '84 Ranger with a 302 in it, and it had one of these tops on it. That's the reason why I remember when he said the name of the top is I remember that old greasy thing. Grease. Great greasy. Nothing greasy in your truck. <laughs> that thing that is that greasy. Thing is greasy. Yeah. <laughs> you see, yesterday morning you're waiting for the kids, and I rolled by and fucking double. Uh, or, excuse my French, double punch the old <laughs> diesel thing. Yeah, I get it, right? <laughs> and Nathan speaks French once in a while. <laughs> huh? I just, I just had to degrease myself there. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Oh, I think someone should be able to understand, you know. Bonjour, monsieur. Comment ça va? Yeah. It took me a long time to be trained. Oui, oui, mon chéri. How are you? Go back to some of the earlier videos and, and you would see. Are you able to help me? Absolutely. There we go. That, that'll do. Doug, you want to give me a hand for a sec, old buddy? Only one. <laughs> Only one. Yeah, that's all I need. 
Oh, I already got her, Doug. That's insane, man. That's tiny. Do you say only one or Obi Wan? What's up? What's going on? What's up? What's going on? He says. Oh, you know. Um. Fun stuff. Just kind of wondering. Oh yeah, and get around. We're just gonna have to go slow because I got the edge corn. The edge is bent there. No. Nope. See if we can get. Jolene. All right, go go for it, nice and slow. No, no ground there, those. Just put a groove in the thing. I'm gonna put this panel in the back. I thought I may as well put something in it. Yeah, it's your thing. Looks good to you. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Alright, just slow up here a bit. Get some grand there. Some right, let's, let's go for it again, see what happens. And if I get caught up, you know what to do. Stop. I don't like to stop, no mess. <laughs> when you say stop, I don't stop. Okay. Moving a little bit. So when you stop. Well, I must commend you on them for You did a real good job on this. Just do a few times, chattels. I remember I was here in the, in the first place when we made floor pans for an old Ford truck. Every time you call me chattels, I think I should be part of the, <laughs> the Skittles. <laughs> Whoops, slow down. Nate's connecting the fingers, I take it. Yeah. That's absolute there. Maybe slow it for a sec. And go for it. Perfect. Thank you. Doug did a good job, didn't he? Nice. Now I can't get it in there because... If I'm on your way, just give me a kick. I gotta bend that corner back so I can bend that up. Give me a hammer, please. Thank you. Bend that back, no harm, no foul. I don't think anyway. Just uh, and the piece around the back never explained that this piece here is a piece of this, this water pipe put that through the roller from here to over there put that through the roller this piece here the mandrel bend piece is a piece of trampoline, trampoline. the trampoline you get the trampolines they have their pieces on them so I cut that off a trampoline, cut the other end off a trampoline, and I rolled it on there. That's my mandrel bend. You have a trampoline here? Used to be. I did have. I wasn't very I want a rag to wash that off. <laughs> I'm not telling you so much better than these stories right now, but yeah. 
I bet you Jax is good at it, though, isn't he? He's stepping off the step, I just do it. <laughs> yeah, he's on it, though. I think I was too chubby McTubbersons on it. He went through it last, his last year. He was pretty disappointed when he jumped in the floor. <laughs> So then it was time to throw it away, wasn't it? That's when they get old, isn't it? It's nice and warm in here today. It's, we got frost inside, but we got the, the heater on. It's nice and warm in here. What do you think, guys? Nice and warm? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. You see my new shirt? Ooh, wow, see my new yeah. shirt? Yeah. Just go into value, but just start writing that on everything. Yeah, right? We'll have all of them. Be good to go. I think Joanne doesn't provide them in the checker edition. No, she's got no checker plate shirts. Yeah, Nathan said he went to town tonight and he said they didn't have many checkered shirts over there. <laughs> <laughs> Not in my price range this we time. We can play checkers all day there. I was right. thinking checkered shirts. We oh, you mean plaid. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> plaid. So see what I got there, Doug? I did down there. That way we can cut off here. Yeah. Yes. We're gonna do some. Does not matter to me if it sets on the chassis there. It's not holding anything. Our mounts are up there and over there. Um, does not. It does not hit here. Does not hit there on the chassis. Why did it have to hit there? And I feel like it does not have to. Let's put our piece in. All right. Let's. Uh, and we'll take and run that piece back. I should not have bent so much of a ninety on that, as you can tell. Uh, I don't. I have no shell. That one's not. We're gonna leave that one alone. Because worst case Ontario, we're gonna snip the top worst of case the screws. Ontario, he said. Trailer park Nate. <laughs> did you see the Did you see the one with the trailer park kids dressed up for Halloween? Yeah. The three kids. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I was just rolling. That's gotta go back. Okay, Doug. Well, I think that's a, a good start. I probably could have had something coming down, but that can be after we start rocking and rolling. So I'm gonna come along here. I want to. That ruler that you had. Scratch that. Just basically tell me where I've got to clean it. To weld it on. People scrape on them. On if they're there, both people say. If they're there. It's gonna bend that back. It's gonna be the same. Should be. Made, made, made my own. Made my own mistake. Um, is making something a ninety when it should have been a little less than a ninety. That way, there would, it would have tucked back and fit that better. But where uh, I made a ninety, it's up straight, and that's not up straight. So I have to tuck this back. I'm going to leave that down there. I'm not going to cut that off. I'm going to leave that for strength. Great arts and craftsy. I got you in on that, didn't I? I think that's the biggest thing about um, customizing cars or doing stuff like that is just the arts and crafts of it, having fun with it. Basically, I, I think it's. Thanks for involving us in this too. It's kind of just left the car alone. But that's pretty boring. Right? Yeah, who wants a boring well, car? It's pretty boring. 
Who yeah. wants to drive some of them electric cars you jump in it? It doesn't even make a noise. It doesn't smoke. It's not loud. It doesn't smoke. <laughs> it's right, it doesn't, not greasy It's enough. not greasy enough. They jump in it. They push a button. And you sit in the bad side making car noises. You can't even hear it going. Like, yeah. yeah. How are you supposed to know when it's spinning? You can't hear it. <laughs> Never even thought. <laughs> hey, this here says made for electric. <laughs> go read the back tire on this, Doug. Go, go read the back tire on this car. You have to read the tire in the back. You read the tire, Doug. No, you read it a little no, further. read it. Wait, what it says. <laughs> <laughs> At least this one goes vroom vroom, right? That's what it says on the tire. I want it to go bop bop. This is a highway for I wonder. I wonder who actually <laughs> feels like that's what, you know, if who would actually look at that and say, I can't use that on my gas car. Who would do yeah. that? Yeah. There's there's a few out there, I guarantee there, it. I, know there's there's a say, load I can't use that on my car for electric awesome. only. <laughs> there's a load restriction on them all. Some of them might be a little too tubby for it. <laughs> One thirteen. Okay, so basically you know what's going on. I've got a piece made in the back. That looks yeah, I'm thinking, to me. Um, I'm I have it I have it I had it ended here. I do. But I still can add on to it. At and least the, and if we take just by making a, a little bit a, a, a bend on it trouble, right and and we'll leave a little bit we can spotting it along here or yeah, doing whatever I need to do to get it done it's probably go but on there to me yeah. that seems a lot easier than what's going on there uh, okay. to make our to make our rear end um, we've cut all that out we simplified it put one so, piece in it we're gonna, I'm just gonna I'm come gonna down here. that in here. there. We're gonna come straight when in. When we bring the alligator. tail down and we go to finish it off, then that's when we'll deal with yeah, all right this stuff. There. But we will we're have nothing but here. new metal to go so to, so we'll be able to do whatever we want there. So chattels. I'm gonna just tack it along here, <laughs> tack it along here, put myself <laughs> tappers up here, get it nice, right. nice and tight and right. Then I'll stitch that on there. Doug and Nathan are gonna be continuing on the window and basically you're gonna get the window frame stuck back on. Maybe even try to get that window going out again. Who yeah, knows? We've got this here marked out now where we're going to trim it back. We're leaving a little bit extra still. And uh, so it, on this front piece, we're going to. So I welded that top where them bolts are, where we're yeah. going to cut them bolts off. Yeah. I welded up in here. Yeah. Yeah, someone's going to get cut. But, right. Yeah, but yeah. we're going to cut across here, right? Right. If we have to, we can still put a brace from gotcha, there to gotcha, there yeah. if we have to, right? But we'll trim it off first and see what it looks like and then. Good. How about that? Good. Awesome. We we thought that we were making a mistake, but we're doing we're doing fine. And I would have made a mistake just like anybody else doing that. I don't know, but um, that's going good to have to skin that bad board. We'll have that back on with the window going in it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. You come back tomorrow, and we will be. Or I will be here. Um, I will be here. Nathan and, and Doug are going to leave me all to myself. It's the weekend. Mm. It's, no, no, it's not the weekend. Yeah. Drink beer and chase girls? No, it's not the weekend yet. Still, All right, everybody, like, share, comment, come back. We'll be here tomorrow, and um, have a great day.